It's been observed that coral reefs are growing more slowly, but it's not known whether it's due primarily to ocean acidification or global warming or coastal pollution or overfishing or many of the other things that are damaging coral reefs. And so we had an idea about uh, five years ago that came out of discussions with Jack Silverman and Kenny Schneider about uh, trying to bring the chemistry of seawater flowing over a reef closer to what it was pre-industrially and then see if the reef would grow faster. And, and so we tried to do this a few times and the first two times it didn't really work, but the third time in an expedition led by Rebecca Albright, we succeeded in putting across a plume of alkaline seawater across a natural coral reef without any artificial confinement. And we were able to measure a rate of increase in reef growth that was equivalent to something about what, like one gram in an area of, uh, per minute, one gram per minute in an area of something like 30 meters by 40 meters. This experiment succeeded uh, under the direction of Rebecca Albright, who has now produced a beautiful paper in Nature magazine describing our work. And so we brought the seawater chemistry closer to what it was pre-industrially, and we observed that the coral reef system did grow faster, grew its skeletons more quickly. And so this really shows that ocean acidification is already affecting coral reef growth. Obviously, these sorts of experiments need to be extended and done over longer durations to get at all kinds of issues associated with acclimation and so on. But in any case, this is the first experiment where somebody altered seawater chemistry in a natural, unconfined environment and demonstrated that it was having an adverse effect on this natural ecosystem.